about, let's have a chat about phrasal verbs. It's in 4E on page 45. At first, I would like to ask you guys, any, anybody knows what phrasal verbs are? Who would like to tell me? What are phrasal verbs? Hmm? Anybody knows? How can we explain what phrasal verbs are? Matej, can you try? Okay, so phrasal verbs are, uh, <coughs> are verbs that we need to add some other words that, mm -hmm. that complete the full meaning of the word. That's it. That's it. Wonderful. So we have always a verb and we put something to it and it will create a completely new meaning. Okay. Sometimes the meaning is very different from the main verb, but sometimes it can be quite similar. Okay. We used some examples here. For example, turn down, run into, or sit up. So sometimes you can have two words there. Sometimes there are three, as you will see soon enough. I have asked you to read this text right here on page 45 in exercise four and to find out who is more worried about the climate change. Anybody would like to tell me and don't forget to say why. So maybe William, can you try? Who is more worried about the climate change? Emma mm -hmm. or Tom? Uh, I would say that uh, Emma is more worried about the... Yeah, exactly. How, how do you know? Because uh, uh, she's more talking about that we need to stop it, stop using the, uh, what's called, like fuels like coal or gas. Yeah. And she tends to use, I think, a lot of words like must, right? Yeah. Must wake up, take action, must change. We can put it off. Excellent. Thank you. So now in the first text, Maybe uh, that's a question for Max. Can you find the first phrasal verb in the yellow text, Max? What's the first uh, word, the phrasal verb that you can find here? Max, are you there? Okay, Slavic, can you try? Where Where is the first phrasal verb in the text? So, carry on. Yes, uh, there is one before. One oh. in this sentence, you can find one. Using up. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Uh, Jakub, can you try the next? Where is the next phrasal verb? I found wake up. Yeah, 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 correct. Any other? Um, Honza? Honza T? Um, put in. Put in. Come again? Sorry? Put in. I, I don't see it. I don't know what you mean. Can you say it again? We we can put in a last. Put it off. This put one? it off. I'm sorry. Correct. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Then on J, can you tell us another one? Mm -hmm. Come up. Uh, and there's more. Come up with. Come some. up with. Okay. So there are three three words here for this. Uh, another one. Uh, Marek, can you try? Looking after. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Uh, I cannot find it. Yeah, here, look after. Excellent, thank you. Then uh, Peter, can you tell us another one? There's more. So we have two, four, five, six. There are still three more. Peter, tell us. Uh, rely on. Rely on, excellent. And Matej, another one? Close down. Close down, excellent. And the last one? Are we, yeah, there's still one more. Uh, maybe Honza M. Can you tell us? Um, also, here in the last part, somewhere. I have that signature. That means they will oh, give up. Give up. There we go. Yeah, give up their cars. Excellent. So there should be the nine phrasal verbs. They all have uh, different kinds of meaning. So for this, I ask you to work on exercise five. So let me ask you here, which meaning for continue did you find in the text? So for example, um, Jakub, Jakub T, can you tell me? Uh, where are we? I am kind of lost. No, you don't know what means continue in here? We have use uh, up, carry yeah. on, look after, wake up, put it off. Uh, so 
continue is carry on. Carry on, there we go. Easy peasy, no? So we have carry on and then doing something. And if you want, you can use with, but you don't have to. Carry on with doing something, uh, but you don't have to. You can just say carry on with something, all right? So that's it, that's it, thank you. Let's try delay. Um, anybody for maybe Max, can you tell us for delay? Delay, it's odd cloud. Uh, maybe odd cloud. Mm -hmm. Odd cloud here in the text, in the yellow one, you can find it. Um, it's odd logit. I don't see it. Okay, no problem. Anybody knows in the classroom? Anybody? Put it off. Put, put something off. That's it. Yeah. So delay, put something off. Good job. Uh, then stop using something. So this niching just done. So maybe anybody can tell me who wants to tell me, guys. Put it off. Put it off is for delay. But if I stop it, if I stop doing something, number three, stop using or doing Close down. No. Close down means that somebody will come. Give up. Give up is better. Yeah, much better. So give up something or give up doing something so it but it will be an ing form for example give up smoking give up uh, driving give up traveling and so on all right good then we have take care of uh have you found it anybody knows uh, look, after. look after look after that's it yeah and again look has a different meaning after has a different meaning together they mean take take care of excellent and the last one anybody knows think of think of anybody knows because niche him see to slow up come up, come up with. with come up with there we go all right good job gentlemen so let's have a look here there are still a few uh, phrasal verbs that we haven't used for example, we are using up fossil fuels. Can you translate fossil, uh, sorry, can you translate using up? Anybody? Maybe Matej, can you try? Využíváme. Využíváme, ano. A nebo spotřebováváme. Jako úplně všechno spotřebujeme. Výborně. If we carry on like this for much longer, can you translate, Max? Can you translate? If we carry pokud, on... budeme, pokud budeme pokračovat takhle, Ano, výborně. Then uh, William, can you try? Uh, start looking after the environment. Start looking after the environment. Mm. Začněte se. Začíná se jako ohlížet, nebo jako... Oh, okay, můžeme, but it's very free translation here. Nezvat. Take care of. Začněte se starat. Jo, starat. A co? Výborně. No, výborně. Politicians must wake up. That's easy, no? Andrzej, can you try? Or... And we can't put it off. Andrzej, can you try one more? Zahodit? Nebo zamést pod koberec? Něco takového. Okay, that's a beautiful translation, although it's not very direct. But it, it can be. But put it off means delay, right? Jako nemůžeme to už odkládat. Jo, odkládat. Výborně, OK, that's also fine. Now, it is impossible to come up with a solution. Uh, can you translate this, Marek? Can you try? Uh, přijít s něčím. Ano, takže je nemožné přijít a solution? What's that? Um, řešení. Ano, takže je nemožné přijít s řešením, které by uspokojilo všechny. We can't just close down all the coal and gas power stations. Uh, maybe Slavek, can you try and translate this one? Uh, nemůžeme zavřít vš nebo nemůžeme nepoužívat nemůžeme... Ne, myslím, že zavřít v pohodě v tom. nemůžeme zavřít všechny uhelné a, a ty uh... plinární plinární a elektrární okay? that's not important, that's for the next lesson yeah, these kind of words but close down is important here, takže zavřít okay? uzavřít uh, bychom řekli uzavřít, na sílu povinně we rely on fossil fuels. Uh, Honza, T, can you tell us? Mm. Uh, it's okay. Maybe you know there is an adjective uh, if something or somebody is reliable. 
reliable. Have you, do you remember this one, Honza? Mm, yeah. And now I have rely on, rely on somebody. What do we say? So here it's easy. You you just know, need to know reliable and you will find out. That's easy. All right. Thank you. And now the last one, give up. Uh, how many people will give up their cars? Uh, Jakub W, can you tell us? Easy peasy, guys, I hope. So remember that for your written homework for Friday, you should uh, also have a look at other exercises especially exercise one and exercise eight can be done in a recording. So feel free to record your voice and um, leave it on Google Classroom. For this, for exercise one, simply prepare your little speech uh, where you use these words. And also for exercise eight, finish exercise seven before so that you can use these sentences as you speak. That's quite important now. Yeah? So in exercise eight, you will need to express your opinion on who you agree with more. Do you agree more with Emma or Tom and why? Don't forget to say why and use the sentences from here that you will need to finish yourselves. Okay, that should be quite easy, I hope. All right, let's continue with phrasal verbs. Uh, for this, uh, let's go to your workbook, yeah, guys. Let's go to workbook. And over here in your black and white book, you will find exercise number three. In exercise number three, you will need to do something similar. Put the phrasal verbs to their meaning in the sentences you see from one to eight. So we have these that we have already discussed. Carry on, come up with, give up, go up. Go up we haven't said yet, but it's very easy to understand. It, it, the idea is the same, so to increase. Something will go up, like a number, maybe. Then um, look after, we had. Uh, put off, we had this. And set off, this is new. Anybody knows what we mean by set off without context? Anybody knows? I will give you context soon, but do you know? Any, anybody knows what set off could be? It's like odstartovat. Can be, yeah, can be. So like a bomb, you know, you can set off a bomb, set off uh, a rocket, for example. So I, I left it here. You will find this, by the way, this presentation will be on Google Classroom. You can study from it. Now, speaking of set off, there are two contexts. Number one, yesterday we set off at six o'clock. It's going to be a great trip. How can we translate it here? Anybody wants to try? Translation here. Maybe, okay, so Peter, Peter Esch, can you tell us? Yesterday we set off at six. Včera jsme odešli v šest. Ano, odešli nebo vyrazili. Výborně. And then number two, the terrorist set off the bomb at seven o'clock. So how can we translate this one? Maybe William, can you try? Hmm? William, are you there? Oh, sorry. So the terrorist set off the bomb at six or seven o'clock. Sorry, seven o'clock. Uh, takže uh, teroristé jde jako nastavili, nebo jako... Nastavili, mm, OK, je lepší překlad na to. Detonovali, nebo odpálili, anebo odjistili. It can have a lot of different meanings here, yeah? But the idea is there was a bomb that was set off, right? Mm -hmm. At seven o'clock, right? That's the idea. Oh, all right, now before you start with this exercise, there is still one more thing. For put off, we said that... Um, we had this uh, context number two. I always put off my homework. Odkládám svůj domácí úkol. Odkládat. Now we have another context for put off number one. Please don't do it. It really puts me off. How can we translate it here? Uh, for example, Matej, can you try? Don't do it. It puts me off. Uh, it's like štve mě to. Výborně. Něco mě štve nebo otravuje. So you see there are more meanings for this. Okay, so that means, guys, I'm going to give you some time now to have a look at this. You will work in pairs again and try to complete this exercise together, okay? From, uh, from one to eight, nothing else, all right? Just the exercise number three in your workbook. So good luck to you. I will see you in the rooms. Yes, okay, more, more or less everybody's here. So let's go, let's go to this exercise. Let's check the answers. 
So number one, uh, maybe Malek, what do you think? And uh, just uh, re read it with the phrasal verb already. Okay, yeah? uh, I need to come up uh, uh, a good excuse for uh, handing in my homework. That's it, thank you. I'm trying to stop eating junk food. Uh, for example, Slavic, can you try? So I would say I'm trying to um, give up with junk food or... Uh, not with, not with. I'm trying to hey, give up, just eat, give up. Eating, eating junk food. food, yeah. But you can just say junk food. I'm trying to give up junk food. You can say eating, that's okay. okay. But remember, when I use a verb, it must be ing. Every time, yeah, we give up. Next, after running 10 kilometers, she was too tired to continue. Uh, for example, Mati, what do you think? Uh, so it's after running 10 kilometers, she was too tired to carry on. Excellent. Ay, ay, ay. Here, carry on. And if, of course, you can say carry on with running. Yeah, and you can also, you, with, you can, you don't have to use it. So to carry on running or carry on with running if you want to continue the sentence, but you don't have to, of course. Uh, he left his job so he could take care of his sons. Uh, for example, Andre, can you tell us? Uh, yeah, uh, look after. Yeah, there we go. The next one, please don't finish all the milk. Honza, tea. So, please don't. Please don't. Uh... Don't use, use up. Don't use, use up. That's it. All the milk. Thank you. Uh, Jakub, T. Uh, can you tell me number six? It, it's continuing to rise. Uh, it's continuing to go up. To go up. There we go. Can you also maybe uh, substitute continue with a phrasal verb? So we have two phrasal verbs in a row. Mamed Vesla will continue. How can we say this one? Is carrying on to it carries go. on going up. Yeah. So it can look like this. So or is carrying if you want, you can use is carrying on. That would be also fine, but both are fine now. Is carrying on going up. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, wait, wait. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. So is carrying on going up. You can you can also use both actually in here. That's fine. Um, we should delay the meeting because nobody can, can come that day. Um, for example, Honza M, can you try? Um, yeah. What's the phrase over here? Oh, uh, put off. Yeah, we should put off the meeting. Uh, don't stay up late. We need to leave early tomorrow. Uh, for example, uh, Jakub, W, can you try? We need to set off early Excellent. morning. What is the past tense of set, do you know? If I want to say it about yesterday, right? Anybody? Do you know Jakub or anybody? What's the past tense? I came in with us on set. Nobody knows? So we have put, 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 okay? That would be for the past tense or present perfect. And here, put, 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 set, set, set. So here it's always the same. Now, it always goes for uh, verbs that have three letters like this, that are very short. They tend to stay the same. Okay, thank you. So guys, that's about it from this exercise. Here is a little learning strategy for phrasal verbs because this, you know, it's, as I told you before, I think it's uh, the most difficult thing in English, actually, this thing. There are hundreds of phrasal verbs in English, and many of them are very common. They are easier to learn in small groups. So here are two options. Learn phrasal verbs related to the same topic. So for example, you want to learn phrasal verbs for traveling. And for traveling, you have this one, breakdown, poruchatse, for example, a car stops working. Go back, vratice, head for, vyrazit někam za nějakým cílem. Set off, vyrazit někam. Uh, take off, když uh, letadlo vzletne. I'm sure that you know a lot of them already. But um, for me personally, the second option is way better. I often learn by having the same base verb. So I have look 
And around look, you can create a lot of uh, diff different kinds of phrasal verbs. For example, look after, look around, look into, look up. So guys, for this reason, they have this exercise number four in here, and they ask you to find four phrasal verbs with the base verb turn. Include short definitions. Napište zde nějaké definice různých frázových sloves kolem slovesa turn. Do you know any phrasal verb with turn? Anybody? The, I, I could come up with eight when I, I wrote it in the presentation. You will see it there. But uh, anybody knows? Any four? Uh, maybe turn on. Turn, uh, yeah, okay. Turn something on. What is the opposite of turn on? Uh, turn off. Turn off, that's it. There are more meanings yeah, for this. There are two. Maybe we can talk about machines, right? But then there are, there's another. Any, anything else? Go on. Uh, no, it must be with turn. Turn. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, well, turn off, turn off, and also turn around. I don't know. Yeah, it can be turn around. Why not? Yeah. All right, can be. All right, let me show you some of my ideas. I want you to choose four of them, and then uh, when you are done, you need to think of a, an example sentence and also give the definition of this, what, what it means exactly. So here's the first example. You can turn somebody down. You can turn something off and on. You can turn around. You can, people, people can turn up at the party, for example. You can turn up the music. Something turns out somehow. So for example, I didn't think I would pass the test, but it turned out very well. Turn to someone. When I have a problem, I have to turn to my friend. Turn something over. Um, for example, there's a terrorist and I say, hey, turn the money over, right? Turn the money over. Give me the money, right? Turn the money over. Then the next, um, turn somebody in. You commit a crime and I will go to the police to turn you in. Okay? This can help you guys, but obviously you have to find it yourselves. And here is the strategy for you to learn. Uh, this, is a, this is the something that will never end with phrasal verbs. Even for me, after years and years of speaking and studying English, there are still phrasal verbs for me to learn. All right? So this is something that will never end. All right? That unfortunately. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you had a good time.